Hey guys, it's Garrett Stewart with Command Consult, and in this video I wanted to show you some really good best practices that you really should make sure you do when uh, adding a smart plan from the library here. Now, in the smart plan library, which you just get to smart plans by clicking the smart plan applet here, and you're going to click over on library, and if you scroll down you're going to see there are a lot of smart plans in here. What Over 2,800 smart plans are currently in the what's new here so there are a lot of choices so always I always recommend start going through the top rated so one of the best things that you can do is obviously start at the top rated section and go from there but when you add a smart plan to your own smart plans to use you're gonna go like this So I'm gonna use Connor's uh, smart plan here for buyer education he's got a really great smart plan here as you can see he has 4800 agents using it and all five stars so uh, Connor, it's a great smart plan. So if I wanted to add this smart plan to my library to send out, first of all, you can view steps and kind of hover over each one so you can get a feel for what the text is uh, in there. And if you want to, you can either add smart plan there or hit it here. And you're gonna have that opportunity to name it whatever you want. And so I could just say, you know, buyer, if I want, didn't want my at the beginning, I could buyer education, email drip. Okay, so I hit download. And it's going to download right there to my smart plans. So we're going to go back once it's added. Now we go to my smart plans. There it is right there. Now make sure before you add anyone to a smart plan that you add from the library, do this. You're going to go over here and you're going to hit this edit button. And I want you to go through every single step of the smart plan to make sure that you add your own information in there to personalize it. So uh, Connor's done a good job of adding things like having it fill in the contact first name and, and things like that. But one thing you want to make sure you do is uh, so anything in blue, this kind of teal blue color, you're safe. You're good. It's automatically going to fill. Um, Connor did do a good job in down here. Uh, kind of clarifying you need to put your own phone number and email in here uh, because there isn't a merge fields option so this is a merge fields option which will automatically fill in some information there isn't that for an email or cell so uh, uh, he did a good job at least making it pretty obvious this part you do need to change so uh, all you have to do is edit you know highlight it change it and put in your own in contact information put your name down here as well and any other signature item in that line uh, so scroll through every single step of the smart plan I've seen before posted on Facebook. Oh, the, I sent a smart plan out and it had someone else's information on it or it had something like agent email, uh, something like that. So you don't want that. So just be sure to scroll through here. Uh, make sure you edit through, edit any smart plan you add. Uh, so that way it's customized to you. And then finally, once you're all done editing and going through there, you're just going to hit that save button. And then my next thing I would recommend doing is adding yourself onto that smart plan before sending it to anyone else. You're going to notice anything uh, of an issue when it comes to your email and you can kind of clarify and be like, okay, all looks good on there as well. So always add yourself to any new smart plan you're setting up so you can ensure you're getting the exact smart plan that you intend to want to send out to your database. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys want any other training videos or command help, you can always go to my website, commandconsult.com, uh, for more training there. And be sure to check out our newly launched newsletters, which uh, can, you can send monthly newsletters out to your database through command by subscribing today. So I hope to see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.